So my son is turning five years old tomorrow. And he told me he wants steak for dinner. That made me so happy. I mean, he, not, he doesn't want fish sticks. He doesn't want chicken nuggets. He wants steak. So of course, I'm gonna go out and get him some steak. I wanna make him some of the best damn steaks that he's ever had. I, of course, saw this as a good video opportunity as well. I have 1.51 pound Wagyu ribeye right here. And right here is a 1.6 pound choice ribeye. I'm gonna compare the two. Is there gonna be a big difference between a Wagyu ribeye and a choice ribeye? They both look delicious and I know I'd love to eat both of them, but I wanna see if this Wagyu has, if it lives up to its hype. So we're gonna be cooking this reverse seared on the Pit Boss 820 pellet grill. It does an excellent job with the reverse searing process, really easy. We're gonna be using the Traeger Choice pellets, which is a combination of woods from hickory, cherry, and apple. We're gonna be, do, we're gonna be doing the reverse searing at about 225 until the internal temps of each of these steaks hits 125 internal. Then we're gonna sear them for about a minute on each side, and that should take us somewhere around the 135 to 145 range which will be a perfect medium rare to medium and that's pretty much how we all like our steaks in this household first things first let's get these things seasoned up and let's see how they look let's just inspect them oh and before we get into this video please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you know when I'm making new content I'm all about guns and barbecue and those are like the best things so subscribe let's play with some steaks We're gonna open the choice ribeye first. That looks delicious anyways, regardless of, you know, being not prime, does have nice marbling. You can see all the fat content, especially this is like a prized cut of the ribeye right here. That looks good, that really looks good. Oh, much more marbled. So this is the Wagyu. This is not some crazy, uh, intensely marbled Wagyu that you might see in some of the videos and stuff online, but this is way more marbled than this one. So a couple things to compare. I think right here, it's really easy to see which one's the Wagyu. Way more marbled. You can see that fat content is just scattered throughout the entire cut. The entire cut of meat almost looks like this part of the choice. So this is like that really good cut of a ribeye right here. The entire steak basically looks like that, whereas obviously it's just here. So you see there's, this looks delicious, but it's just not nearly as fatty, whereas this whole thing is just kind of marbled. So we're gonna give these guys a super basic seasoning. You don't, like you wanna taste the meat in these, so I'm not gonna do some crazy barbecue rubs on them. I'm gonna keep it real simple. Just as a little binder for the salt and the pepper, um, extra virgin olive oil from Costco, Kirkland brand, fantastic. We're gonna be using some basic coarse Mediterranean sea salt. And then white pepper. Yeah, that's right, I love white pepper. You guys probably know that if you watch my other videos. White pepper, salt, olive oil, that's it. pellet grill has been set to 225 degrees. It is getting up to temperature right now. Right here we have the Wagyu brisket and then we have the choice brisket. The Wagyu brisket is on the white thermometer. The choice is on the orange thermometer. Let's get them on the grill and get these things up to about 125 degrees internal temp.
Wagyu was reading 127 and this one was reading 124 so I just pulled them and the Wagyu seems to have more texture than the Choice. You see the Choice looks a little, a little more glazed, a little more flat, whereas this one is like, it's got texture to it. My guess is that's where all the fat veins are inside the Wagyu, where it's breaking down, the fat's breaking down. So, let us continue. I just turned this thing up, and we're gonna open up the sear plate, and then we're gonna get a good sear on these guys now. mistakes with a fat cap first. I try to render that fat Here is the finished product. We're gonna let it rest for a little bit. Let's take a close look though. So this is the Choice cut right here and then this is the Wagyu. You can see the Choice, it's a lot smoother on certain parts of the meat like right here. You don't really see too much grain, but if you look at this entire cut, it's all covered in grain. That's where all the fat was entwined in the meat. That should make it more tender and juicy. So they both look very good and either one I would be thrilled and happy to eat. Let's let these rest for about five minutes and then we're gonna cut right into them. So I'm gonna cut the choice first and we'll do the Wagyu after. I'm gonna cut it right in the middle. So you can see how the cook is. It feels extremely tender. Here's the cook. It's a perfect medium rare. You see some nice thick, nice, I'm not sure if the camera is showing it, but I'd say maybe medium to medium rare. So I'm gonna cut a strip. Look at that, that is a perfect cook. I'll tell you what, Choice Wagyu Prime, this looks delicious. So here is the Choice. Looks good, looks like a perfect cook, nice reverse sear. Let's try this. Mmm, flavor is on point. Flavor is on point, it's really good. I like that a lot. So it's it's very tender for the wagyu now. Cooked identically, same time, same temps. Let's cut it right down the middle. Here's a wagyu. Again, another perfect medium rare cook. I think that looks very good. I could tell right off the bat how much more texture there is. Just for a comparison sakes, do you see the grain difference in the meat? So that's your Wagyu, and then that's your choice. Wagyu, that looks like almost like a brisket. Like when you have a brisket cooked perfectly, you have all those grains there. Whereas this one is kind of smooth. You still have your grains, but not nearly as deep as the Wagyu. It's almost falling apart like a well done chuck roast. Let's get up close and personal. Look at all that. It almost looks like a piece of brisket carved off, except it's red because it's medium rare. Oh my God. Holy crap. It literally breaks apart in your mouth. All right, so I'm gonna get Jenna out here to look at these cuts and see if she can guess which one is which. Okay, so I cut two pieces of steak right here, that one and that one. I'm gonna have Jenna tell me which one she thinks the Wagyu is. So based on looks, I think that's it, just because it looks more tender. Mm -hmm. But this might have more of like a consistent marbling that I just, I don't know. So we'll try this first. Okay. Good flavor. Yeah.
Hmm. Really, you have to think about it? This one? <laughs> like that Wagyu breaks apart in your mouth. Yeah, it like melts. Whereas that one, it's good. It's still very tender, but it just doesn't like disintegrate like this one does. So there you guys have it. Choice versus Wagyu. I really didn't think I would notice a huge difference, but I really, really do notice a big difference. The Wagyu was extremely tender. There's a visual difference too, even after you cook it, you can really tell which one had more fat consistency inside the meat. It was way more rough texture. Um, you can tell the fat was just marbled inside that steak so much more. Um, both cuts are delicious. And I, I'm usually not one to buy Prime or Wagyu because I, I'm really happy with just a choice cut. However, doing the whole YouTube video thing, I thought it'd be a cool comparison video to try to compare an expensive piece of meat versus the same cut, just not as expensive. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you know when I'm making new content. All about guns and barbecue, as I've said before, it's the best thing. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. See ya.